Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to update your um, Google TV or your TCL Google TV. It doesn't really matter the brand. Um, it should be the same if you have Google TV built into your device as it's the same operating system, which is basically Android TV, right? So it's Google's version um, Android for TV, all right? So of course, um, first thing you want to do, guys, is go ahead and you're going to go over to... Um, the settings and you're gonna check out the settings for update so in order to update your TV please note also um, make sure that your power is stable before trying an update if the power to cut out while um, you're trying to update it can damage your TV so I recommend to wait until a stable day when the power is stable or if you have a uninter uninterrupted power supply to use that to keep the TV um, powered all right, just in case of a brownout or a power outage. So go to um, go to settings. You can click the gear icon in your remote. Go to gear icon here, settings. Next, you're gonna go down. You're gonna go to system. Once you're in system, um, here. The next thing you're gonna do from here is um, you're gonna go down to um, the top of the menu here. You're gonna go to about. So once you go into about, there's an option here that says software updates. So software update here is the option that you're gonna use. Remember to make sure that you're connected to the internet as well. Um, if you wanna know how to connect your device to the internet, go ahead and check out the tutorial. I'll have one on that as well. You can search on the channel. So go to software update. Um, I recommend that you keep this. I recommend that you keep this on um, automatic update, meaning um, you'll keep your device automatically updated. You don't have to come back in here. But of course, if you want to um, do um, the update, so once it's set to, to auto update, once there's an update, it will tell you. All right, so of course, next, um, you have two options in case of updates. Um, local update will use your USB drive, meaning that if you have downloaded it manually, added it to a USB drive and add it to the TV, you can use a local update to search for the update and try to update from the flash drive. You can actually do that. Um, so we're gonna go to network update. So on a network update, now you have um, service update and you have system update. So go ahead and sh you can check for system updates. So it's gonna try to see if there's an update. There's not always an update, but if there's one, it will tell you. And notice it says in my case here that the software is up to date. So that's mine there, the V8R518T01. Um, it gives a date of the update, so I'm on the latest one. So it, it's optimized product experience and performance improvements. And it gives you, um, you can check for updates or do the release log. So as you can see here, system updates is the main update that will update the system or the software on your TV. Mine is up to date. This is a um, service update. Notice again, it tells me that I'm on the current um, um, update for service. Um, it says release note, it's optimized the upgrade process for TTVS. You can check for updates again and you can use the release log. So of course, I'm up to date, especially with my system updates and of course the service updates. So this TV is working pretty fine. Um, of course, I'm gonna exit, but of course if it, there was an update, it would be simple. It will appear on screen and of course um, all you have to do is confirm and it will give you warnings about um, the update process not to lose power and so on and it's pretty much um, straightforward once the tv updates it might reboot but once it comes back you might see new features or of course it might just be stability improvements so that's the update process i do hope you enjoy the guide and as always guys ricardo from blog tech tips saying bye until next time bye